trying to get a closer look at Doris's head. She's healing nicely. She's doing well. I don't know where her boyfriend is though. He seems to have vanished. I call her Doris. I just feel like she's a girl. I don't know if she is or not. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is 10 to 9. I've dropped Ozzy at school. Emma's taking her car to get a service. Rob is following her to bring her back. I'm going to just redo bits I did yesterday. Sweeping, the things that constantly need to be redone. Continue with the laundry. Ken's got an exam today. Sky's got an exam today. Lee's off with an ear infection. So he's gonna take Kenzie to the, um, in, into school today because he doesn't need to go in except for the exam. So I don't need to bring the dogs into work. So that's good. They can stay with Lee and Kenzie. Um, and then tonight I am starting my two week job of house sitting um, for a dog called Shiraz. So I'll be popping back and forth, back and forth to my family throughout that time, but I will be based um, in a village not very far from here. So yes, it'll be an interesting couple of weeks. I do need to go home and pack at lunchtime, so I will take my sort of hour and a bit off before I pick Ozzy up and go and do that. And then Ozzy and I've got, well, he's got karate this afternoon, so we're going to do karate this afternoon. And that's everything. Hopefully my van will be back. Did I tell you it's not the pump that's gone, the steering fluid pump, it's the knuckle joint, which apparently I've talked to them yesterday, um, it is going to be significantly cheaper than it would have been if it was um, the pump. So that's good news, very good news. Right, sweeping I think is the first job on the list. Some time has passed. I am now writing a report, I've already written loads, but I'm writing a report for the DLA um, about Aussie's issues um, just so that there's additional support available financially um, for the family because then they can access private support um, because it's impossible to get any kind of help um, through the NHS really. He is getting some speech and language but there are other things that he would benefit from if there was additional cash available for him to access some other things such as maybe some neural development retained reflexes activities and also things to help with the ADHD such as his karate and stuff that he's doing so I'm currently made loads of notes and now I'm writing it out in best I might have got a bit carried away that's taken about an hour and three pages oh, and my arm is hurting a lot okay washing machine sounds like it's finished so I should probably go and check on that the next job on my list is to hack at a great big bush and oh, thinking these might be the way to go it's kind of taken over the window in the bathroom and made it very dark in there it's now actually growing through the window when the window's open yogi come on right we'll start with this and we'll see how we get on and this is what i need to tackle <laughs> This is a Rob request. He says, what do I know about horticulture? I said, what particular aspect? And he said, hacking down that bush. <laughs> so it's got very big actually in the last few weeks with all the sun and rain we've had. Unfortunately, it's such a shame that I'm doing it because look at all these flowers that are going to grow and they'd be amazing for the wildlife. But the boss says it's got to go, so it's got to go. Emma came down from her meeting, so um, it, before I go and do the bath, not the bathroom, the, the hedge, which I had gone out to make a start on, I'm going to eat this veggie sushi that I picked up yesterday because I really enjoyed the sushi at Yo Sushi, but only the veggie stuff. So I'm going to eat that. I've got a glass of water as well because I need to drink more water. Right, no more putting this off. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Job's not done till you're bleeding. Um, Emma's given me a saw. I've made great progress. Um, I'm making better progress now. I have a saw. I've done that job. Um, so that's a rob job, I think, trying to get that root. Uh, that's going to require either digging out or some sort of poison putting on it to kill it down to the roots. That pile looks a lot smaller now it's been chopped. Um, but the job is done. I'm going to go and clean up my hands that are covered in blood. I've come home. 
I've done that job. Home now to do the next job, which is packing everything for my trip away. First thing I need to do is fill up my tablet box for the two weeks. I've packed all that side with lots of bits and bobs that I need. Tablets, hair dryer, all that sort of jazz. And now I'm going to work on the clothes side of things. You're driving, are you? Yes. Okay, let's hold on a minute. Let's just have a look at what I can have for my food. Well, that looks nice. I hate that. Mm. Wait, what are them eggs again? I want them eggs. This is a, okay, that's a plant one. I like that. I want the eggs. Yep, yeah, we'll get the eggs. Just wait a minute. You want quail eggs, don't you? Oh, I love sushi. You like sushi, do you? I want sushi. I hate this sushi. I love this sushi. I like the veggie sushi. I like this sushi. I want sushi. Are you going to have that for your dinner? Will you eat it? Yep. So you... I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not going to eat the stuff. Well, inside. I'm not getting it if you're not going to eat it. I, 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 Do you eat the fish? I love fish. You like the fish one? Yes. Are you going to eat these things? Yes? Okay. I, I want to go in. for Harry. I want to go in for Sky and Harry. Right. The boys for Sky and Harry. Hold on, what's this? Hummus, rainbow veg. That Hold looks really on. nice. I'll help you eat. Come here, please. I tried it. Kiss, 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 and chicken salad. That looks nice as well. What are the dates on these? 19th. Oh, plenty of time. Right, let's go. Half of this. Half of Right, we've got to go and find the eggs if you want quail eggs. Right, what are you looking for? Quail eggs. Quail eggs. Here we go. We've got quail eggs here. Well, these ones are reduced. Oh, what are them? They are, look. Look, what are them? Those are other eggs. These what? are the ones you were after, quail eggs. What are them eggs? Uh, they're just normal chicken eggs. I love them eggs. Shifty, oh, shifty. Run away. Don't run away. Oh. The bleach sun. Pounds 22. What have you got, Oz? Seaweed. Seaweed. It's one thing I really don't like. Yeah. Seaweed. Yeah. Not many things I don't like. Seaweed and celery are two things I do not like. Right, do not get this all over Kenzie's car. Eat it nicely, okay? Only my car. Only my car. Yeah. Plants, except I probably will end up with more because so anyway. Container. Dinner for the boy who can be very fussy about his food. <laughs> But has actually requested this, haven't you? I, I'm not going to eat these ones. Oh. I'm only going to eat this one oh. and that one. Right, okay. What, what, what are the white things? Uh, the white thing is the rice. Oh, what's this? Uh, that's a seaweed. I hate seaweed again. I hate seaweed on Okay, it. we'll peel it off and pop it on there. This is his requested meal, so... Did you take the seaweed out? Okay, you were so polite to unroll it. There's wanna, there's the edge there, look. I want to cut this open. Oh, I asked you if you wanted me to um, peel them or not, and you said you wanted them to be peeled. There you go. I want to cut them open. Oh, well, I did ask you. <laughs> you mean open like that? Right, I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea <laughs> and some toast. Not very nutritious, but um, it'll do for now. Pixie, it's an exciting day. Ow! We'll be adopted. Have a new family. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Ow! Oh, he's a good girl. Oh, he's a good girl. You're going to go to a new home. You are. You're going to get so much love. Come here. Oh, we're going to miss you though. It's been a lot of fun. I'm going to come and say a quick hello to the babies. And also, Emma says there's been two ducks up here. Oops, for the last few days, which actually are the ones I saw in the field. They've had their babies up here as well. And then she said one of them's trying to nest in this end stable and really told her off when she walked into it. So let's see. No, there's just sheep in here at the moment. Hi, gorgeous. 
the ducks were here earlier, but they're clearly bogged off for now because Autumn's taken over the stable. Hello, lovely. You've been having some, we've done a, I've done a terrible thing to your hair, haven't I? I'm sorry, but it was because I wanted you to be able to see and it was so matted. But also we could see how thin her face has got. Emma's been giving her some drenches for mums that are feeding twins. And she's gone back to giving them some bottles as well. And actually they look like they've chunked up a bit this week. Hello. And she has had a bit more energy as well, haven't you? Beautiful. Oh, is that a nice scratch, is it? You are very, very thin in the face and very skinny. Like this is, I can feel her spine and everything. It's just, the babies are taking everything. She's eating lots. It's just exhausting, isn't it? Being a mum of two. I'm sure twin mums out there will fully understand and appreciate how hard it is. Well, there's the ducks. And for some reason, there's only one baby with them. I don't know where the others have gone. I know that's not. That's a female and two males, isn't it? Well, there was a bunch of babies with them before. Here they all are. Let's see if I can get down there before they all leave. Well, they're all going into the, <laughs> going into the field now. Well, some of the babies have gone through. Seem to have taken up residence. Seven o'clock. I'm now house sitting. This is my view for the next two weeks. Stunning all the way over to the Ridgeway and the Chilton Hills. I do need a good shower. I'm going to make that my first priority because I'm a little bit stinky. Oh, and a cup of tea. And this is Shraz. <laughs> It's in proper soppy mode, aren't you? You just had a treat. You've had your food. We've had lots of cuddles. She's so excitable and absolutely adorable. Slowly unpacking my stuff. Everything that I'm going to need. Shiraz is supporting my unpacking endeavours, aren't you? So I've plugged in the light. That wasn't plugged in. I've located the plug down there. So I've got everything in here. I've put my clothes and my reading materials and study materials in that bag on that shelf. Um, this bathroom is lovely. Look at this light. Isn't that wonderful? Um, it's, it's like a big walk-in shower room, basically, like a proper wet room. Um, and these, yeah, this is my abode. I don't actually think I'll be necessarily needing much of the house other than the kitchen. I think probably the living room I will. Shiraz and I can hang out in here. I don't think we really need to use the living room, do we? Not really. <laughs> You're so good. Right. And they've even left me, she's even left me out towels and stuff. So that's really good because I actually forgot to bring a towel with me. So I'm going to fold up this, pack this away in a corner somewhere. Um, probably down there and I'm gonna go and have a shower freshen up get out of this mucky stuff wash my hair get my makeup off drink my tea as they entered the canal the wind pushed both ships towards the left bank the ever given veered particularly close both ships then slightly increased their speed 